Hello, my name is Sander Stuur and I'm software engineer for DARE Instruments. And today I will tell you something about radiated emission in our radiation software. As you can see, we already launched radiation, and the first step we take is opening or creating an EUT. In this case, we open an EUT I already prepared. This is needed to run the test. We will run the test radiated emission multiband. We can start a new test or in this case I already prepared a test. We have just a simple example from 30 megahertz to 1 gigahertz uh, generic uh, receiver settings or analyzer settings. We will take one trace with one detector um, which is the peak detector just one quick sweep for the example this is the test equipment we use it has an antenna in this case an antenna tower and turntable and we need a spectrum analyzer these are the antenna settings for the turntable we have the turntable settings here below and here we can add our limit lines we can quickly open the limit line we had just added as you can see this is the limit line which will be used during this test and the measurement result will be tested against this limit line if it's below the limit line or not. You can even uh, configure that with this setting if needed. We just want one peak to be detected and the final measurement will be performed with the quasi peak detector and the peak detector. Start test. Now the equipment is initialized, the spectrum analyzer is being configured to be used for during the test. As you can see, the limit line is already displayed in the graph. As you can see, Redimation has automatically detected one peak and it's still possible for us as end user and test engineer to add uh, peaks we additionally want to measure. So in case we also want to final measure this frequency, we can just select it and now we have two peaks which are also visible in the table and we can automatically have them measured as final measurement according to the test configuration we, uh, we have configured in the TSF. So in this case peak and quasi peak detectors will be used. We press automatic and the automatic measurement will start. Now Redimation is zooming and sweeping and determining the final measurement result on that frequency. These are the results for both peaks and as you can see you also the status is displayed which in this situation is a pass because both values are below the limit line. This is it. This is how you perform a simple radiated emission test and we can close the test to save our measurement results in our EOT. 
Thank you for watching our Redimation software tutorial. For additional information and our other videos, check out our website, dare.eu. Bye!